All right, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble a Dell Inspiron model 5570. So first what you want to do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So the hinge side down here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Um, this screw, it stays in place, um, so you can't actually take it out. Um, once you undo all the screws, you want to take the CD drive out. Just use your fingernail and pull this back. If it gets stuck, you might have to flip it over and do it with the other side, with the screen side up, just like that. Okay. Once you remove that, there's two more screws under the CD drive, so remove those two screws. And then um, these all use PH1 or J1 screwdrivers. So once you remove all of those, you can go between the screen and the panel here. So underneath where the palm rest connects, you can actually pull it out. So just do that. Okay. And just go all the way around with your fingers between the body and the, the bottom panel. Okay. So as you can see, here's the lip where the palm rest meets. So you would pry under there. Okay. So that's how you remove the cover. Um, now that you have the cover off, you can see inside. So the RAM, there's two sticks of RAM. This is uh, 8 gigs PC4 2400T. Okay, so that's the type of RAM you use. Um, there's the wireless card, just like every model. You take out the one screw. There's this little plastic thing covering these... Um, the antennas but once you remove the screw and the plastic guard you can just pull the tail of the antenna up at an angle like this and it will pop the connectors off okay then you got the uh, charge port here looks like so there's the charge port and then um, you got all the other ports are part of the board you got the speaker connector here um, this speaker attaches to the other speaker down here Okay, so they're both connected to this one connector on the board. You got the keyboard connector here. To remove these, you just flip up this little latch and flip that back down. Um, usually when you're going to work with the board, if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you're going to remove the um, LCD connector, you want to, so the LCD connector is here, you want to disconnect the battery and hold the power button just to make sure there's no power that could short out any components. So usually RAM and things like that, hard drives, you'll be okay if you don't unplug the battery. But if you're going to unplug the screen or something, you want to disconnect the battery and then hold the power button for like, 10, 20 seconds just to be safe. Okay, you got the CMOS battery here. You got this USB um, connector with the CMOS battery board. It has a wire that connects to it underneath here. So you got another connector here for the optical disk drive. This board looks like it can be separated, so it's not part of the motherboard. So you can actually replace this um, with this cable if something happens to this port. Um, then you got the hard drive. It's a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can replace this with a two and a half inch SATA SSD. Um, so the connector here goes under the battery. So you'd want to undo all these screws and then lift out the battery. Um, to undo this connector, you can use your fingernail in here or a pry tool. And then you can get, once you move it back a little, you can get a gap here and slide your fingernail there. And then you can pry this out just like that. So I'm going to leave this in because I don't need to change it. Um, well, actually, I'm going to try putting an SSD in here to see because it's running super slow. So I'll do that. So I'll show you how to remove this hard drive. Okay, just remove the two screws. All right. So the hard drive, once you get those screws out, it looks like you should be able to lift it. Oh, there's two more screws here. So there's actually four screws holding the hard drive in place. Oh, somebody tried to open it and they stripped the screws. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to remove this bracket. Let's see, maybe if I have enough pressure. Okay, so with the screws, make sure you put a lot of pressure because whoever worked on this before, they stripped this screw out and it made it really difficult to remove. I'm gonna have to replace that with another screw. So once you get all those out, you should be able to lift up from the metal part of the bracket. Don't lift up the, there's some foil there. Um, but yeah, once again, take this connector out. Okay, just like that, slide, okay. There you go. And then the hard drive is held in this um, bracket with four screws. And then this plastic thing keeps it all together. Okay, so that's how you get the hard drive out. You can see the connector here. And then this foil stays there. Then you got the um, 
uh, what do you call? There's no connector there. I don't know what that's for. Um, maybe I'll take out the battery just so you can see underneath. Okay. So the battery looks like it's held in place with four screws. I don't know if I'm going to take it completely out, but we'll see. Oh, might as well. Okay. So you can remove four screws holding the battery in place. I was told that somebody replaced the fan for them previously. So to get the battery connector out, you just go with your fingernail on the white part of tips of the connector and then just wiggle it with your fingernails just like that All right then you can lift the battery out alright so here you can see there's the trackpad connector then you got this for the USB board this for the hard drive this is for keyboard backlight and then again that's the keyboard connector you got the fan connector here you got this connector I believe for the power button on a separate board hopefully you can see that all right, then the fan's held in with three screws. You just take out that connector if you want to replace it. And the CPU solder to the board. Um, then there's an M.2 slot here. I'm not sure if it supports uh, PCIe NVMe SSDs, but it's definitely M.2. It doesn't really say what type of M.2. Um, so that I'd have to look up online um, and see if it'll only support SATA or if it also supports PCIe. But that's pretty much all there is to this model. Um, I think I, if I mentioned, this is LCD connector. Um, again, if you replace this or open this flap, you want to make sure to take the battery out and hold the power button just to drain any power. Um, but that's pretty much it. To put it back, just do everything in reverse. And, and hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that will help me. And thanks for watching. Bye.